do this oh your mom is just the best oh she's so cool wow you should be so proud of yourself like the place looks insane everyone's gonna want to come it's gonna be totally banging oh it's gonna be the best oh when is everyone getting here oh gosh okay that's really soon you're not even ready Okay, no, 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 don't freak out. Oh my gosh, don't spaz. Whoa, take a chill pill. We'll fix you right up, okay? Plus, you know me. I am so good at eyeshadow. I can do it like that. I'm so speedy. Okay, okay. Mm, don't fret. Let's fix you up first, and then I'll show you the other things I brought you, okay? It'll be, it'll be wicked. Okay, um, is this what you are kind of starting to get ready with? Okay, no worries. Here, here, put on the biker shorts now, get changed into your full outfit, and then I'll do, like, your hair, I'll tease it and stuff, and I'll do your makeup, but get dressed first just so that I don't mess it up, you know? Yeah, like, if you're putting on your leotard or, like, something, I don't want it to, to mess up your hair and makeup, so go get changed first and then come back, okay? No, don't worry, I'll just read a magazine while, while you get changed, okay? I'll just be here. Here, I'm waiting for the birthday girl. All right, take your time, home slice. True story. Bonus romance, my once in a lifetime love. Oh, let's see. Is there love after divorce? Well, there better be. So, move to Malibu. Oh, I would love to. If only I could. One woman startling discovery. My shopping addiction almost cost me my husband. Me. <laughs> me. Gag me with a spoon. That is me. Mm. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that Barbie car. I feel like I definitely, definitely need that Barbie car. I mean, I do have my license now. Ooh, new faces. Tyler Payton, Chassie Danielle. Mm. This three tastes even better. I don't know. Mm. Let me tell you about my pet. I want a dog 
so bad. The Thanksgiving dinner that brought us love. Mm. I mean, this looks like a turkey to me. Oh, okay, good. You're ready. Magazine was kind of boring anyways. Didn't even have any, like, fashion stuff. Boring. Oh, it's all about, like, love and divorce. And there's a lot of ads for, like, feminine products. Like, why are you reminding me? <laughs> anyways, okay. Let's see your outfit here. No, it looks good on you. It looks good. It looks really good. Here, let me just adjust that a little bit. Is that comfortable, though? Okay. Now I'm just making sure we want you to be comfortable, especially for when we hit the dance floor. You know me. I love dancing. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be breaking out like the ducky and everything. I still got all my disco moves in me. Uh, okay. So, I'm thinking for your hair, do you want to go like with the matching high ponies? I feel like it's really fun. Oh yeah, then the hair is out of your face for dancing and like eating cake and Twinkies and cosmic brownies and all of that good stuff. Right? Okay, let's do it. So, first I'm just going to brush it out. I love the color of this hairbrush. Oh, it's What's your favorite color nowadays? Mm. No, love that, love that. Oh my gosh, yes, from 16 Candles. Oh, that movie is so good. I've been on a movie kick recently, re-watching re all of the latest hits. I've been, uh, like, watched 16 Candles. I went to the drive-in recently. Uh, they were playing Dirty Dancing. Oh, you know that my favorite the breakfast club was so good oh, so wicked mm. what else have I been watching you know it's a fun one Uncle Buck but I mean that one's more of a holiday one so probably watch it more at Christmas with the family but they're good you know keeping busy dad's always at the office and mom's trying to do this whole like new home workout video business idea i mean i don't know she's like constantly in like warmers i mean seriously i think she's like bathes in them now she's obsessed with the home workouts oh my gosh you haven't been to my house in so long but seriously it looks like a whole studio i don't even think we own a couch anymore it's crazy but i mean hey if it's gonna make us thousands and we'll be rich and then we can finally get a pool totally in for it. Okay. I'm not hurting you, right? Okay. I am, like, trying to, like, really brush it out, though, so that it's really frizzy because we want the volume in the ponytail, you know? Yeah. Mm. Good, good. Okay. I think that's perfect. And then I am going to tease it and, like, we get more voluminous, especially at the roots. At the roots. Okay, so just hold still. So your mom is just finishing up with all the food? Okay, good. So who did you invite exactly? I know you invited Robert. Do you think you're gonna finally, like, make a move tonight? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, I love that idea. Yeah. No, play it cool, play it cool, like, act chill, act like nothing's a big deal, and then, like, make a move, yeah. Ooh. Oh my goodness, could you imagine if he, like, pulled up Patrick Swayze and, like, lifted you up in the air? Oh, that would, like, actually be my total dream. Oh, come on, couldn't you see me, like, up in the air like that, like, totally, like, magical swan? Oh, stop. You're too funny. So, who else did you invite? Did you happen to invite Jason? Uh, thank you. That is my bestie. I don't know. He's been like... He's kind of annoying me because he's like calling me every other night. And then yet at school, I see him talking to Heather. And I'm like, okay. I was one for the Heather's movie. But if I'm going to pick any other, it's going to be the movie. Oh, no, she's terrible. Her and her little, like, 
posse. Ugh. No. And she always gets out of gym class and I'm like, who do you think you are just skipping class? You're not better than anyone else. If I have to run these sweaty laps, then you should too. Anyways, so Jason's always with her in like the cafeteria and always hanging out by her locker. And the other day, I even saw her returning his Walkman and I was totally offended. Like, just eat my shorts, barf me out. I seriously can't stand him right now. But also, like, he's really cute. And like, the other day, I saw him on the football field and I was like, oh, now that is gnarly. So, I'm not sure. I'm like, kind of like mixed feelings about it. What do you think? Um, yeah. No, it's totally caught my head in a twist, too. I'm just not sure, but do you think I should make a move? If you make a move on Robert, I'll make a move on Jason. Okay. Okay, let's do it. But if I do see Heather, I'm very much gonna be like, what's your damage? Like, what is your damage? Constantly, like, all up in Jason's grill, like, trying to make a move, like, back off. Okay, you're not my home girl, and you're sure as heck not gonna be his girlfriend. Do you know what I mean? Ugh, cannot stand her. She's seriously the worst. Anyways, you know what you need? You need a good scrunchie, I'm pretty sure. I brought some. If not, you can use one of the ones I have on my wrist. What color are you thinking? Mm, I'm thinking let's do, like, pink. I feel like that's fun, like a good hot pink. Okay. Let's just tie your hair up here then. Good. Good. And then I'm gonna put it on this side. I'll be silly like that. Okay. How's that? Oh my goodness. You know, it looks so amazing. Oh, totally tubular. Okay. That's good, but we are gonna need some hairspray to make sure everything stays. Let's see which kind do you have? Heat Hero. Oh, okay. I, d I don't think this one is like as good. We'll try it first. We can always do a couple layers of hairspray. Let's see. Let me just cover your eyes. Oh, I love the smell of hairspray. Sometimes I wish I could eat it. Don't do that though. Okay. And then we also have this one. Ooh, this one could be good. Yeah, I think my mom has this one. And I mean, it doesn't move throughout any of her squats, so. Okay. Well, her hair doesn't. Oh no, you're like almost out of this. You're gonna need a new one. Okay. Let's see. Crunchy. Is it crunchy enough? I might add just a little bit of gel too so that it stays because the last thing we want is the birthday girl's hair coming out. Okay. Just do a bit of gel, a bit of gel, a bit of gel. Just do a bit of gel, a bit of gel, a bit of gel. Okay. Just mm, all of your hair products smell so good. Also, I love that your hair is like wavy. It's kind of giving like a crimp. Like it's kind of like looking more crimped, you know? Crimped style, wavy style. It's amazing. I didn't have enough time to crimp my hair, sadly. No, I was up all last night. I'm just like so obsessed with music right now. You know me constantly listening to country. I even brought you a few of my favorite cassettes. No, I know you're obsessed with with like the Smiths, Guns N' Roses, Metallica. Oh, not for me. Um, you know, you're obsessed with like them, even Madonna, but for me, here, I brought you a few of my favorites. Well, actually, you're gonna love this one. Who doesn't? I brought you Big Daddy's John Cougar Mellencamp. Who doesn't love John Mellencamp? Oh, like, oh, he is so, makes my heart melt, you know? So I bought, brought you that one. I also brought you 
all my best Ricky Nelson, of course, because you know me, I do love a good little hoedown throwdown. Then I brought you One Time One Night Sweethearts of the Rodeo. No, seriously, you have to give country a try. I mean, I would never expect that I'd love country, but it is actually really good. It's got me rooting and scooting all around the dance floor. And then I also brought you a little bit of Kanye Twitty, the best of Kanye Twitty. It's so good. It's got I Need Your Love and Shake It Up, Halfway to Heaven, Lonely Blue Boy, Oh, Comfy and Cozy. All these songs just make my heart melt. They're so good. So come on, just give it a try. And I brought you back your Walkman. So now there's no excuse that you can't listen to it. are so fun and then when we blow out your birthday candles and sing happy birthday and celebrate and everything you can shake them oh it's gonna be so fun okay now you also need makeup so let's see by the way your mom needs to get new magazines this one wasn't very good hmm. okay let's do some eyeshadow some eyeshadow you definitely need some of that what colors are you thinking oh yeah if anyone can pull off blue, it's you. Okay. I only have the brushes that I did for my eye makeup though, but that's fine. At least I brought something. Okay. Well, you know me, I'm so forgetful. Okay, let's do a bit of this and a bit of this. Perfect. Okay, close your eyes for me. Good. I was thinking, um, after everyone goes, because I'm sleeping over, right? Yeah, so after everyone heads home, I thought we could watch a movie. Um, I was thinking maybe like Top Gun. I really want to watch that one. Though. I haven't seen that one yet, actually. I know everyone's been talking about it at school. Um, and you know, everyone is obsessed with Tom Cruise. He is such a throb. So I was thinking we could watch it. Yeah, you're right. We'll probably be too tired and full anyways. But we can still put it on, fall asleep to it. Maybe I'll dream of Tom Cruise. Mm. Okay. I think this is looking pretty good so far. Like, it's like giving a blue... It's like giving a blue hue to the crease. But do you want to, like, really bright blue? Okay, yeah, I can do that. I'll add that. I'll add that. Oh my goodness. Your dog is going crazy. Do you think that some people are already showing up? Oh, I hope not because you're really not ready yet. Don't worry. I'll work as fast as I can. Luckily, I am a whiz with eyeshadow, you know that, so I can work magic really quickly. Okay, good, 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 good. Perfect, open your eyes. Oh, good. Okay, and then I actually, you know what, I feel like you do need a bit of pink, and I always love matching with you, so let's add some pink as well. So what have you been up to lately? Because I know that I've been totally MIA. I've just been so behind in school. I'm like drowning in assignments right now because I kind of, you know, I went through that phase where I was kind of following Jason around for a while. Um, yeah, like a little puppy dog. I remember even when I like went to the drive-in, like just because he was there. Oh. Anyway, so I'm trying to catch up on all my schoolwork. So I know I've been MIA. What have you been up to? Double Dutch? I didn't think you actually were gonna like do Double Dutch in school. You're gonna join the team. It's like so much work. I guess you are more athletic than me. The most I could do is like rollerblading and even that is hard. Okay, so Double Dutch. 
no, I mean, I'd give it a shot. I'm not as good as you, but I'd definitely give it a try. Mm, what else have you been up to? Oh, okay, no, that's fun. That's, that's really fun. Yeah, I would definitely join you in that. Mm-hmm. Well, unless Jason asks me to go get ice cream or go, I don't know, like out to walk the pier tomorrow, then yes, I could. But I'm really hoping that tonight we can secure dates with Robert and Jason. I think we can do it. And I mean, who's going to deny the birthday girl? Like, as if Robert would do that to you. No, he's too nice. He's too nice. Yeah, that did happen. But in fairness, Sadie is kind of like a little bit psycho. Like, she's kind of a little bit crazy. I don't know. You're, no, you're just so much, like, I don't want to say better than her because to each their own, but I don't know. She's a little bit psycho in your eyes, though. Okay, it's looking good. I'm just going to add a little bit more pink and blue in there. Just like a makeup, almost like a purple mix. No, but, uh, no, no, that was Sadie. Yeah, she made a paper mache of Robert for her class. It's like really freaky. Yeah, no, I think that all gave us nightmares, so. Okay, just like here, no, keep your eyes open. I'm gonna do this, like, just on the bottom a little bit. Okay, good. And the one thing about eyeshadow is that it makes the whole look. So all we need to do is, like, add a bit of mascara, blush, some lips, and then you're good to go. Well, that's it. Like, eyeshadow is the main thing. And now that we've got that done, trust me, it looks amazing. Everything else will be super quick. Okay, let's do some blush. Oh, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to do what I did. I used the same eyeshadow pink for the blush just so that it lasts all night through, um, through all the dancing and everything, you know? Okay. Apply that to your cheeks. Oh, so fun. You know, this pink really suits you. It looks even better on you than it does on me. I thought I looked cute with the pink eyeshadow blush. You look really good. But you should be looking the absolute best because you are the birthday girl. Okay, good. Perfect. And then now we need to, let's do mascara and eyeshadow, or sorry, eyebrows now. First, I'll just brush through your brows so that they're like kind of bushy, you know? We love that, just like so. Good. Sorry, you know me when I'm like doing makeup, I'm so concentrated and focused. What did you end up asking for for your birthday? I really wanted one of those. I'm so jealous. I'm going to be borrowing it. Oh no. Who, who got a Game Boy recently in class? They were playing it the other day and I was so jealous. Oh, I can't remember. No, my mom won't get me one. She says it's gonna like rot my brain or whatever. So I'm trying to save that money, but you know, you can only work so many shifts at uh Oh no, this will be fine. You can work only work so many shifts at the food court to make that kind of money to buy a Game Boy. And I'm trying to save my money. <laughs> okay. Just uh, just kinda like hold your eyes kinda half closed. <laughs> Yes, well, I ended up bringing you back your Walkman, so that's kind of like present number one. And then I also ended up just getting you something little, because I know we said we weren't going to do presents, but I did get you something little. Well, okay, well, you know me, I'm really forgetful, so unfortunately it is at my house, but I did get you a bunch of Metallica cassettes, even though that's not my thing. <laughs> but I did get some for you, of course, and then I also got you a cute because apparently they're all the rage right now. Everyone's trying to solve them, solve them and if anyone can solve a Rubik's Cube, it would be you because you are so smart. <laughs> Not me though. No. Oh, as if I could never. <laughs> okay. So, we did makeup. We need lips. That's what we need. We need lips. Lips, 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 lips. Okay. So, first I'm going to use this. It's kind of like a giant lip balm, but it's the perfect pinky color, so it matches your eyeshadow. Okay, I'm just doing pucker up. Just going to apply that to your lips here. And this will last all night. It's really good, apparently. Okay, and then 
we're gonna use some of this, you know, this is my favorite, the Strawberry Lip Smackers Roll On. Oh, it's so delicious. Oh my goodness. It's like a snack. Okay. That looks so good. You look amazing. And then, last but not least, just want to spray a little bit of perfume so that you smell delicious. And then Robert will make his move. Okay. So let's just spray some. Good. Oh, no, don't worry. It's not going to go anywhere. Every single smell sticks to spandex. That's also the reason why you should never wear spandex when working out, but everyone does. Okay, perfect. How are you feeling? No, don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. It's going to go so well. Oh my gosh, is this a disco ball that you got? Oh, it's so cool. Oh my goodness, it's so nice too. Where do you think we should hang it? Hmm. No, well, I like the balloons that you have, but I'm just thinking... I don't know, maybe... No, you don't want to do it in the kitchen because then everyone's just going to hang out by the kitchen and eat food and then everyone's just going to probably, like, get sick and that's not what you want. No, that's the last combination we need. Um, I'm thinking... Maybe in the living room? Yeah. I mean, that's probably the most area, like, to dance and stuff, right? Or where were you thinking you'd have people dance? Oh, no. Okay, let's definitely do it in the living room. If you want, I can go and set this up while you finish any last-minute touches you have. No, of course. What are best friends for? I'd love to help. And also, um, is there anything else that your mom needs help with? Or Okay. Just, like, putting the chips in bowls and everything. Bop. I can do that, of course. Okay. No, I definitely can't. Plus, people are probably going to start showing up any minute now. So, let me set this up first. And you go grab um, the boom box so we can start playing music, okay? Oh, it's going to be so, so amazing. It's going to be totally tubular. It's going to be totally radical. Okay, just take a chill pill. Relax. The only thing you need to focus on is getting Robert's attention. And I can help with that. I can also be like your, you know, wing girl. Let me go set this up for you. It's gonna be so fun. Happy birthday. Okay, I'll go do this. Hello, my little seashells. And welcome back to my channel. So, this is, of course, uh, this month's ASMR Through the Eras video for the 80s. And my seashells, I am going through it. So, basically, I wanted to, I love renting sets for these videos, as you guys know, and I couldn't find any, like, arcades. I even actually, like, emailed and DM'd this one creator that I know has an arcade in her house. So, like, <laughs> I think she was a little bit creeped out, but I was like, I just saw your house on Zillow and know you have an arcade. <laughs> but anyways, she never applied, so, um, I couldn't rent out that place, obviously. I don't blame her. And then I, there was another place that I wanted to rent out. It was like a rollerblading rink and arcade, but it was literally $1,200 an hour. And I was like, I can't do that, my seashells. That's crazy. So I was like, I'm going to try and make a really cool balloon set at home. So I bought all these balloons from Amazon. It was like this whole like Amazon like balloon making kit thing and I thought it was going to be much easier to put together put together than it was and look like the picture so I'll insert a photo of what it was supposed to look like and obviously that is not what it looks like sadly um, but I did do the black backdrop and I added the like paper neon streamers and then I did try to blow up all of the balloons right so I spent my mom and I spent a whole night blowing up these balloons attaching them to the pool noodles trying to make it look like the photo or at least look somewhat cool and my seashells they all deflated by morning and the next morning I had the worst it's like way down in here like at the bottom of my gum the worst canker sore of my life 
and that was a week ago and I still have this canker sore and my seashells. The past week, I haven't been able to talk. I haven't been able to eat. I've been like just drinking smoothies all from blowing up all of those stupid balloons because I probably blew up like 60 balloons and they all had that coating on them that gave me the canker sore. So, um, the past week has been terrible because I haven't been able to film and eat or even talking just hurts. Like right now, it still hurts so bad. Literally last night, I was googling, do I need to go to the hospital for a canker sore? <laughs> so, I've tried to put like different creams on it and neem oil and like rinsing out with hydrogen peroxide. It's just been terrible. So, then last night, I tried to re-pump up a bunch of balloons with a hand pump and Lachlan was helping me. <laughs> so cute. And this morning, my mom and I got up early to try and make the balloon set and like add the, the other ones. And my seashells, we did the best that we could. Okay, I, with the, given the circumstances and given my mouth, it's not exactly what I wanted for the 80s video, okay? Overall, I'm really sorry that it's not up to par with some of the other ones and I really feel like I'm letting down your guys' expectations. I'm really sorry. The props, I do have really cool ones, but I can reuse these and try and redo the 80s video like another time and see if I can find a different set somewhere else. Like I'm sure I could find an 80s set in a different country or province, do you know what I mean? Um, there's just nothing here where I live. So, I'm, um, I'm going to look, but at least I have the props so that in the future I could do something, but I needed to get the video up, of course, for this month's video. I didn't want to not do it and let you guys down, so. Of course, we have the outfit. Lachlan, my little brother, you guys know he's five. He, um, said I look like Barbie, which was a really big compliment, all things considered. So we have the earrings that are neon and match perfect with the visor and leotard. I did initially try to thrift 80s outfit. I went to four, four different thrift stores and one like vintage curated shop and nothing fit me. Like they would all be like the shoulder pads were either really big and like falling off so then you couldn't tell it was shoulder pads or the leotards were like really really low cut and like saggy and i think it's just because they've like obviously been worn throughout the years so i ended up just getting this set off of amazon not ideal because i wanted something actual vintage in 80s but just i couldn't find anything that fit me and i wasn't gonna spend like when you go to a curated vintage shop or some of the thrift shops things are so expensive it'll be like 50 dollars for an authentic you know 80s leotard and it's like 50 dollars for something that doesn't fit me anyways so i got the outfit from there and then i did end up getting the clapper earrings from one of the vintage stores that i went to they make them which is really cool so at least i got to support a local business in earring form so they had these ones that I really liked. They're fun. They're really fun, aren't they? Okay. And then, um, of course, I got the disco ball. Disco ball, which makes fun sounds. And then I also have, of course, the Walkman thanks to Thomas. So Thomas actually has this Walkman because um, he does a lot of like, obviously he's a photographer, but he does a lot of like swim campaigns and it always looks really cool when you clip the Walkman onto a bikini. I don't know, it's like a pretty popular photo op in the film photo world. So he, he has one of these, so I asked him to ship it to me so he shipped it to me all the way from the uk so thank you thomas for letting me borrow your walkman and it does have the headphones so we have that and then oh and it has the buttons as well but they're not very tingly but they don't make the best sounds necessarily and then um we also have of course 
guess that's a really funny <laughs> because I went to the antique mall and I was looking for cool cassettes so I'm trying to google popular artists in the 80s because my favorite music is like more 60s, 70s um, as well as really early like 30s like Sam Cooke vibes um, so I didn't I don't really like I didn't have a anything from the 80s you know so I'm trying to google like popular artists and things and <laughs> they did the cassettes that they had that were like popular 80s artists were I kid you not $15 per cassette and I'm like that's just absurd I can't do that <laughs> so I ended up getting these because they were $1 each and I was like okay I like I don't have a cassette player this isn't my Walkman you know and also if I'm gonna listen to music, it'll just be on my phone. So I got these because they were a dollar each, but the kinds are really weird because the popular ones were fifteen dollars. So, anyways, I got Conway Twitty, <laughs> and my mom was like, "Ocean, like even though they're from the '80s, like that wasn't popular '80s music." And I was like, "Well, you know, maybe in t like the South, or, like I don't know, like Texas, it was, or like Alberta, Canada." But like, I couldn't justify paying $15 for like, Patrick's <laughs> But these are still from the 80s, so they are actually like, 1980s, okay? So they still count Then we have the One Time One Night Sweethearts Then we have, of course, Ricky Nelson And then John Cougar Mellencamp was actually one I found for $1 That I was like, okay, that's a bit more I don't know, probably mainstream 80s music, but if I was picking, honestly, I love me some Kanye Twitty and Ricky Nelson. <laughs> but of course, if I had to pick any, then I guess I'd pick like, yeah, ABBA or Fleetwood Mac. It's my little seashells. I hope you all at least liked this video a little bit and it gave you some tangles. I'm sorry it wasn't as... I don't know, like, it's hard to beat the 50s roleplay and the 70s boutique roleplay if you if you want to watch a really good one then go and watch those and at least even for the 1960s uh, roleplay which is the flower power one i rented that ro really cool house but at least for that one i wasn't in so much pain so i was feeling a bit more like creative and could get into character more but i just can't <laughs> anyways i love you all so much i hope you're well and um I will see you all in my next video, which will be pre-filmed, thank gosh.